Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over my first update for my Panda's Eyeshadows project. And I was about to say, I feel like I haven't made much progress. However, technically I have. So um, I'm going to go over the individuals first. What am I talking about? I'm going to go over the randomly chosen ones first, which is the bulk, my brain, <laughs> just the bulk of this project. And then I will go over the like free choice palette. So the first one I have here is the In Studio Single in Risque. And I've used this six times and there is just the tiniest little dip. Okay, I don't understand why it's not focusing, but maybe you can see like the teeniest little dip in there. So I've used that six times and I have been panning a couple looks. So I will kind of go over those combos after I show you my progress. So six uses on that. And then I have the e.l.f. Disco Queen glitter. I don't know if the actual like product has a name, but it's the liquid glitter. I've used this nine times and I took the stopper out because I was getting like literally no product on it. So I do have to be careful now because a lot of product is coming off. But yeah, I mean, I've used it nine times, but I just use so little at a time. That you're just not going to see any difference. Then I have the e.l.f. Aurora, like metallic duochrome one, and I've used this once. Uh, the stopper is still in here because there's plenty of product coming out on this still. So again, you're not going to see any progress on that. The Tarte Glamour Palette, the Deco shade, which is this one right here. Sorry, the lighting is not great. It's super gloomy out right now, but there is a little dip forming in there and I feel like you can see that. Yeah, you can see the dip. It's not, it's not significant by any means, but it is there and I've used this nine times. So I need to be doing my makeup more often to make like significant progress, but I feel like for nine times, that's not bad. And then this is the only one that I didn't end up using at all. This is Perfusion Meadow um, in the shade Habitat. This one right here, I did not use that one at all. So zero progress. Um, and then the last random roll in is from the ColourPop Strawberry Shake palette and the shade is very fine. It's this orangey dual chrome color right here and I've used this six times and there's a little dip there. I have been using this with my finger just because I find that that's, I mean, the easiest way to apply it but it is kind of soft, so there's a little dip going there. And then I have my palette. So I have been working on the Wet n Wild Vinyl Collection palette, and I've been working on two shades specifically, the two shades that I didn't have any pan in, which were the gold shade and the brown shade. And I now have pan in the gold shade, which was this one right here. So there you go, you can see it right there. And the brown one, there's a little dip in there, a little, little baby dip, but um, that's definitely gonna take some time before I get pan in there because I do use a fluffy brush with that one. Um, so. We're gonna have to wait and see. I don't know how long that's gonna take. I did only use the gold one three times though. I used the gold and the brown three times each uh, and I hit pan 
in three three more uses on the gold one which I am impressed by so I mean pretty simple update I hit a pan but I can't roll this out because I still need to hit pan on the brown one um, I think if I do a good job of doing my makeup more often I could possibly could possibly roll out maybe one or two shades next time that would be great if I could switch my palette next time that'd be amazing I would feel so accomplished but I've been panning the one I've been panning the look sorry oh my gosh the look I've been panning um the most is the one that I'm currently wearing right now which is a base of deco smothered in risque and then topped with berry pine is that what it's called berry fine berry fine and then um I just do whatever inner corner highlight and then I take the elf disco and then I put a little bit on the inner corner and then some on like the outer little section right here and that's the one I've been doing most of the time uh because the some of the products that I rolled in like a couple of the lip products that I rolled in for my 2025 project pan yes I have already started it I could not help myself um it goes really well with it I don't know what I was trying to say it goes really well with it so that's the look I've been wearing most and then uh, while I was trying to pan the gold one, I was doing a really simple look of um, the Tarte Deco shade, the brown, and then the gold on top. So very simple formula that I've been doing. And then uh, those were really the only two looks I've been panning with any kind of consistency. And then I did do a look with this one, but it involved other eyeshadows that are not in this project. I have not yet tried pairing these two, which I want to. I just haven't done it yet. So I definitely need to do that. Um, I gotta try that. So hopefully I will have some, I don't know, some kind of <laughs> update on how that works when I try that in between now and the second update. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I didn't expect to make a ton of progress between the intro and the first update, so I'm okay with ending this month with one pan. That's fine with me. Hopefully I can have more next time. Obviously, that's the goal. But that's it for this video. Just a quick update. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.